Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's go. Let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you, Leo. Let's see. All right, Spirit, Angels, and Guides. What are this person's current feelings for Leo, whoever it is that Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love? What are this person's current feelings for Leo? Alright. How does this person feel about Leo currently? Whoever Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, here we go. The lovers, the four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles in reverse. This person definitely feels a very intense connection with you, with the lovers. There's a strong attraction. <clears throat> There's an emotional connection there that's being felt. This person's very drawn to you, but they're also holding back here with the Four of Pentacles. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, they're not really putting much time or effort into this relationship or connection with you. Doesn't look like they're investing <clears throat> currently. Tell me more. What are this person's current feelings for Leo? I'm going to clarify in a second. Seven of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups in reverse. There's something about the past. I don't know if that's the past between you two or if that's the past um, just of this person. but there is some sort of heavy energy related to the past that is holding this person back. We'll see. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo like yourself. I feel like this person is observing, observing you or observing this relationship, like observing how things are unfolding between you two or just like the energy that's going on currently between you two. I feel like they're watching and observing. Tell me more, Spirit. Um, what are this person's feelings for Leo? Four of Cups in reverse to the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Three of Cups. So th this person feels like the opportunity is not there, like it's not available. The, the opportunity to be in a relationship with you is not available, it's not there. Or it's not, it's not plausible, it's not realistic with the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's not likely for, some, for whatever reason. They feel like there's too many obstacles or challenges that wouldn't allow this relationship to manifest into something successful. But they still want to reunite with you with the Three of Cups. And they are, they are looking at this relationship like a missed opportunity. 
and they still desire to to connect with you but they don't feel like it's going to become anything serious or anything long term this relationship at least not in the romantic sense because the three of cups can represent friendship so this person might feel like the only the only thing you two can be is friends the only relationship you two can could have is a relationship of friends Okay, let's clarify. Why the Four of Pentacles spirit? <clears throat> Why is this person's current feelings for Leo the Four of Pentacles? Um, do I need to shuffle? No, okay. Let's see. The devil. Eight of Wands to the Six of Pentacles and the Devil. Hmm. This person is holding some sort of grudge against you, Leo. For some reason, they're holding a grudge. I feel it with that Devil energy. It's like a grudge. What's the Devil um, card about, Spirit? Tell me about the Devil. Why the devil in this person's feelings for Leo? The High Priestess in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. This person feels like you didn't have time for them, like you never had time for them or you never really um, gave them any type of reassurance or security. They never felt like they could trust you. They felt like you held back. So they feel like they're holding back because you're holding back. And what they're saying here is that they're not investing because they feel like you're not investing. You're not receptive to them or you're not open to them. So that's why they're that's why they're closed off. Or that's why they're not giving to the relationship. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you feel <clears throat> come on, throw. Um it, I feel like you're this queen of pentacles. All right, let's take a look at the Queen of Wands spirit. Why is the Queen of Wands this person's current feelings for Leo? Why the Queen of Wands? The Hermit in reverse, the Moon, and the Five of Cups. This person is grieving over some sort of shattered illusion what they feel is a shattered illusion shattered reality okay This feels a little bit like a past energy though from their from their part. I feel like this person suffered some sort of um, um, falling out, some sort of separation ending with a past person. And they are still kind of grieving that separation and that ending from from someone from their past. Yeah, I don't feel like it's, it could be with you also that they feel like there's some sort of shattered reality. Or, 
but I also feel like they're grieving something still from their past. Why the um, Ten of Cups in Reverse Spirit? Why does this person feel the Ten of Cups in Reverse in regards to Leo? Knight of Cups in Reverse, Queen of Swords. Yeah, Knight of Wands. I feel like this person's blaming you, Leo. They feel like you didn't let them in. They, they feel like you didn't welcome them, like you weren't receptive to them. They feel like you held back. They feel like you, you didn't want this with them. You didn't want to work on, on this relationship with them. <clears throat> they feel like they tried. They tried and you didn't really um, cooperate. You expected too much from them. How is this person viewing Leo spirit? What is this person's view of Leo? What is their perception of Leo? Yeah, like I said, three of pentacles in reverse. They feel like you, you didn't cooperate or you didn't want to cooperate with them or you didn't want to work together with them. They feel like they tried with the Ace of Wands, but they feel like there was some sort of um, false start. They feel like there was some sort of false start and they feel like it's because of you, like it's your fault that there was a false start. They feel like you um, were deceptive about something with the Ace of Swords or like you lied about something or like that's their perception. What is the Ace of Swords in reverse spirit in regards to how this person views Leo? What is the Ace of Swords in reverse? The Queen of Cups in reverse, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Like you made them think there was an opportunity with you and then all of a sudden, like you switched up on them, basically. They feel like you switched up on them. Like you made them think there, you made them think there was an opportunity and then you switched up on them. I don't see this person taking any type of like responsibility or accountability. I feel like they're, it feels more like they're looking at you like you didn't, you didn't um, want to work, you didn't cooperate or you didn't want to work together with them to, to make things um, move forward here between you two. I don't know about this person, Leo. I don't think I like the Queen of Wands energy. Something about that Queen of Wands I don't like. Um, what is this person's intentions with Leo? This person seems a little laid back, you know? I guess that's what I don't like. They seem pretty laid back in their energy. I don't really feel like they really tried here. This looks like someone who gave up very easily because their heart wasn't in it in the first place. It wasn't in it 100%. What was I saying? Oh, what is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions with Leo Spirit? What are they intending here? Yeah, look, you see their intentions is temperance, 
but it's combined with the Seven of Swords. That's what I'm telling you. Like, there's something um, shady here with the Seven of Swords. Because it's um, it almost looks like they're... They're saying that they want this and that they want to create balance and stability with you. But the Seven of Swords means that there's something that they're hiding. And it means that they're not 100% um, being honest, you know, and being present. There's something that they're not communicating here. But I feel like they're not really taking responsibility for anything. It looks more like they're pointing the finger at you. Yeah, I feel like a lot of a lack of passion here also. I feel like this person's um, interest has declined. I'm not sure why exactly. Why is this person losing interest, Spirit? I can feel like their interest is, is being um, downsized. Their interest has downsized. Why is this person losing interest in, regard to, in regards to Leo and their relationship with Leo? Queen of Cups, Page of Swords, and the World. King of Cups, Page of Swords, and the World. Because they feel like you're not fighting for them. Or they feel like you're quiet. You're quiet and you're, you're isolated. Almost like you're in hermit mode. You're distancing yourself. You're disconnecting yourself. Hmm. Okay. You know, Leah, I feel like this person, um, I don't feel like this person was ever 100% in it here. I don't feel like this person was giving their, giving their all to this relationship because I feel like they, they were still paying attention to something from their past with the five of cups and the moon. Something about their past was still kind of taking the majority of their attention and energy. Now, if it was with you, if it was with you this past, then I feel like they can't get over it. They can't get over whatever happened between you two in the past. And even though they want to um, recover the relationship and start over again, they can't get over what happened in the past and they're they're not giving their all to the to the relationship now. But I feel like for many of you, I feel like it's with someone else that they're still stuck on. And I feel like they're they're losing interest here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at you, Leo. Hopefully you can give me some answers here, some more more answers or clarity, because I feel like it's kind of vague on their side. Let's see, I'm gonna use a different deck. Yeah, I think I like this one. Okay. Spirit, show me, um, how does Leo currently feel about this person? What are Leo's current feelings, please? Nine of Cups, uh, you're happy. Nine of Cups. Keep in mind, Leo, this is um, just their opinions and their perception, their perceptions of things. This doesn't, I'm not saying that what they're claiming is true. That's just their opinion and point of view. 
All right. How does Leo currently feel about this person, Spirit? What are Leo's current feelings? Knight of Pentacles. And we also have the Nine of Cups. Some of you are redirecting your focus to yourself. Oh, okay. Well, we have the Five of Wands here. With the Tower in Reverse and the King of Cups in Reverse. Mm. So there's definitely some sort of conflict here. Between you and this person. And you are very um, emotionally closed off and guarded. Because of this drama or conflict. That is happening with this person or that you feel from this person you feel something with that king of cups in reverse yeah let me just go ahead and look at that real quick tell me about that king of cups in reverse spirit why is the king of cups in reverse in, in regards to how leo feels about this person Okay, three of swords in reverse, the star in reverse, the devil. You feel like this isn't going anywhere. You feel like this is a hopeless situation for some reason. Hopeless relationship. Why is the five of wands here, spirit? Tell me about the five of wands. Yeah, again, with this three of pentacles in reverse, you two are not getting on the same page with each other. You're having a hard time um, speaking the same language, understanding each other. King of swords is in reverse. Communication is really bad between you two. And we have the chariot here. Someone is controlling things too much. Someone is trying to control things too much. Hmm. So you're feeling pretty discouraged here with this person. You feel like you try, you try your best to um, to get on the same page with this person, but there's always some sort of conflict or argument between you two. And it looks like it keeps happening. Tell me more about um, how Leo currently feels about this person. Leo's current feelings. Two of Wands with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh. Two of Wands in reverse. With the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are moving towards some someone new. You've um someone new has caught your attention and you're making plans towards towards moving to a new option in love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to know about that spirit. Tell me about the Knight of Cups to the Knight of Pentacles. Why is this in Leo's feelings? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune is here. Five of Cups in reverse to the world in reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about that Wheel of Fortune spirit. Yeah, I feel like you're not bothering with this person anymore. I feel like you're you're making plans towards giving up on this relationship or abandoning this relationship and and moving towards the new a new person, a new option, a new romantic interest. Hmm. 
oh, this person might know that, or they might perceive that now that I'm looking at it. That, that might be why the Three of Cups is here. I think this person might suspect that you're moving on to someone new or that you're opening yourself up to, to new options. That might be why their energy is so blah. You know, their, their whole energy feels very blah. Because they know that you, you, you know, you, they know you're getting over this. Tell me more about um, Leo's feelings for this person's spirit. What are Leo's current feelings? Tell me more. Thank you, spirit. Ace of Swords to the Hierophant in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. Okay. Ace of Swords to the Hierophant in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. There's some sort of truth. Some sort of truth or reality that you're discovering here. I feel like you're changing your, um, what is that called? Yeah, you're changing like your point of view. You're changing your perception here. There's a shift in your perception of this person and this relationship. Let's see. Let's see what that's about. Tell me about the hangman in reverse. There's a switch in your perception. Tell me about Hangman in Reverse in regards to Leo's feelings. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse and the Five of Pentacles. So you no longer feel like this is worth it anymore. This relationship or connection with this person um, you're seeing things differently. You're seeing things very differently. Um, this is an energy of ego also. So I do feel like you were hoping for some sort of outcome here, a specific outcome from this person. But you might feel like this person kind of showed you their true colors and your your rose colored glasses are falling off and i feel like you're starting to realize that this is a waste of time and that this is something that you need to abandon or let go of because there's no there's no commitment with the hero fun in reverse there's nothing keeping you two together. Like there's no trust or loyalty or respect or commitment. There's no foundation here. What's the Ace of Swords spirit? Your values are very different. You and this person's values. Why is the Ace of Swords here in regards to Leo's feelings? Yeah, Empress, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in Reverse. This is like your values. Hmm. Okay, so this actually looks like a, like a, um, what do you call that? Like a transition energy, like phases that you went through with this person. Different phases that you went through. Yeah, because I feel like you started off more optimistic, but I feel like slowly and kind of gradually you started um, learning more information and discovering more truth. And I feel like you're in this energy of concluding that 
this is not the right person for you or that this person is too different. They're too different. There's there's too many differences between you two. <clears throat> Sorry. And you might care for them a lot, though, because we do have the Queen of Cups. So you might have a lot of feelings for them. There might be a lot of, you know, emotion and love. But that's not enough to sustain a relationship. That's not enough to make a relationship last. There has to be more that is unifying you and this person. There has to be a, a stronger unity. And I feel like it's not happening because your values and their values are different. What you want and what they want is very different, you know? Let's see what actions they will likely take towards you. Yeah, but I don't feel like this person... Um, there's something about this person not taking responsibility in some way. Definitely feel like they're throwing more blame um, your way. Throwing blame your way. There's an Im there's a immaturity energy here. Um, there's a maturity difference between you and this person. Okay. What actions will this person most likely take towards Leo moving forward? What actions will they take? Oh, look at that. I was just thinking about King of Wands. The King of Wands to the Three of Wands and the Fool in reverse. I thought the King of Wands was here. The Queen of Wands. Hmm. I'm, I'm getting like this energy of like, what if? I don't see them taking action because we have the fool in reverse. This looks, this, this looks more like someone who's like surrendering and giving up. Yeah, this feels like someone who's surrendering and giving up and not taking any action. Um, but I feel like there's this energy of them thinking, what if, you know, what if? This would have happened. What what if I would have done this? What if it what if, what if I would have said this? What if I would have done things differently? There is this energy of what if. This person feels like you two had potential. Like there was a lot of potential between you two to become something very um stable to become and to become a, a a stable relationship and a fulfilling relationship yeah they feel like the potential was there but they feel like it just couldn't come together because you two were just too different Tell me about this King of Wands spirit. Star. Oh, okay. Star, Page of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. There's something about this person thinking, well, maybe, maybe later in the future, me and Leo can reconnect. Maybe, maybe things could be different. They feel like right now, nothing is possible right now. Yeah, they feel like right now they don't see things working out and it looks like they're kind of giving up and surrendering, letting it go, kind of letting the tower fall. But I feel like they are kind of thinking and wondering if maybe in the future you two could maybe reconnect again and try try again, have a second chance. It looks more like they're like thinking about it, but I don't feel like they're taking it too seriously, you know, because we do have the Ten of Wands. 
feels more like they're doing some wishful thinking here. Because I feel like deep down, this person still feels like you two are not going to work out deep down inside. But I do feel like they entertain themselves with the thought of maybe you two um, in, some, in some future could like find each other again some some way and maybe it could work later on down the road okay all right leo so that's what i see in regards to the current energies um i hope i hope this was helpful and i hope it resonated if it did please give me a thumbs up Thank you for watching and I appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.